welcome mm. back to the show. I appreciate every time you come. Thank I've you so always much. wanted to drink water here. <laughs> like I've, yeah, like, you always see like the cup, but I don't ever see anybody drink, and I always want to just have a little sip of water. Yeah. I had to ask you, because uh, we talked about this last time, you now have a house. Yes. And uh, last time we talked, you thought uh, you had an ice maker and you thought the Three Stooges were a burglar in your house. <laughs> uh, and it made me laugh. But you have a house. How is it? And w w w I heard that Questlove helped you decide to move upstate? That's true. He, he did. He I was looking for a house, and I was, I was looking out in, in some town that I shouldn't have been in. And uh, he was like, you need to look where I'm at. And I looked up there, and it was, it's quite nice. I do, I do enjoy it. It's uh, good water. <laughs> I'm not used to having neighbors, though. Like, I, even still, like, I've, I've never seen you before, like, in the neighborhood. I have yet to move in. So you sent me to a neighborhood that you don't even <laughs> live in? Kid, you gotta test him. You, you gotta speak it. No, I'm, not, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, I'm like the guinea pig for the neighborhood now. <laughs> Like, hey. Hey, do you like it? I don't. It's it's crazy though. Like when I first got there, and some some lady like like brought me bread. Yeah. She like knocked on the door and was like, Jim, "Your neighbor here's some bread." That's so nice. She's trying to poison me or something. No, <laughs> no, that's not that upstate. That's not I what they do. No, I, I, just... I, if you're watching this, ma'am, I punted your bread over two fences. <laughs> You're too paranoid. <laughs> She's being neighborly. It's no, called... man. I li I'm from. I've lived in apartments in New York City my whole life. I've never met one neighbor. <laughs> Not one person. We don't make eye contact with nice people that way. I don't. Yeah, exactly. Suburbs. Right. I don't trust it. I, I want to ask about uh, uh, Colin Jost, your weekend update uh, co-anchor. Uh, you guys are fantastic together, by the way. Congrats on a great oh, stop. season. Oh, <laughs> stop. Uh, he just had a baby. That's true. Well, yeah. Scarlett did. Well, sorry, Scarlett had the baby. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, have you have you met the baby? I have, man. What a what a what a cute kid. But yeah. uh, babies are they're fun for like a second. <laughs> you know, they don't do much. No. After you've looked at them, and then they're just <laughs> staring at you, trying to keep their head on straight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, this wiggly thing away from me. But no, but it's, it's, a, it's like an adorable baby. It's like, it's Colin and Scarlett's baby yeah, it's a beautiful together. Baby. Are you gonna babysit? Has he asked you yet? I don't like babysitting, man. I'm, I'm actually a really good babysitter, though, if, he, if you guys are interested in... <laughs> I'm a great babysitter. I've been babysitting my whole life. I have nieces and nephews that's like three years younger than me. Oh, really? I've been babysitting them since they were babies. Since I was a baby, actually. Yeah. And yeah. what would you do? Were you, uh, were you a good babysitter? I was a great babysitter, man. I just let you cry until you're sleepy. Uh, now, uh, Michael Che, uh, Shame the Devil. Yeah. This is a, your stand-up special on Netflix. I'm excited. You know, uh, right about now, I just feel like what the world needs is more stand-up comedy on Netflix. <laughs> Something that everyone can agree on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I, 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 I love the name Shame the Devil. I, I've never heard that term before. Never? You know, you don't got like a black aunt? <laughs> shame the Devil is a very, it's, it's something that, you know, like church ladies say. They say, tell the truth, shame the devil, because the devil is a liar. No one's ever heard this before? No. I mean, I have. The roots are shaking their head. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, shame the devil. So, yeah, so that's what, so you're just kind of just telling the truth. I'm trying to, well, as much as I can, you know. Uh, yeah, you're, you're a great comic, man. You're, you're... That's not... No. Nah. <laughs> where did you film it? In Oakland. Oakland, California. It's, what? Uh... A lot of Oakland fans here. What's it like uh, when uh, backstage when you're on the road? Do you have a writer? Do you have... What do you, what do you have in the room? I don't... I, I'm fascinated with writers. Like, I don't really have a writer. Like, I usually just ask for, like, chicken fingers and M&Ms because that's just what I'm... That's just my life right now. <laughs> but... But I'm fascinated with other people's writers. Like, I'm always like, anytime there's a performer, like, before me, I'm like, what they have in their writer? And then, like, they tell me, like, some, some performer, like, one comedian, I won't say his name, but uh, he asked for, like, white sneakers before every show. Brand new white sneakers they gotta buy him after every, before every show. Can you do that? Apparently, yeah. yeah. Isn't that the coolest thing? Yeah. You do it too? I do it with, uh, with t shirts and other things, but I like to provide my own shoes. That's awesome. Wait, so you go do a gig and you have them buy you? I mean, you have a rider. It's a, you know, it's part of the terms of, you know, agreement. <laughs> no, I know, I understand what a rider is, that you so, do yeah, the gig. So, so you put the sneakers on the rider and then, you know. They gotta do yeah, it. Yeah, mission accomplished. <laughs>
One last thing you got to think about. My favorite rider thing was was Snoop Dogg. I was I was doing a, sh a gig, and Snoop Dogg was there like the week before me, and it was in the UK. And I was and I was like, man, what's Snoop Dogg having this rider? He said, oh, he did regular stuff, but he ordered 150 pounds of chicken. <laughs> And I was like, 150 pounds of chicken. It blew my mind for like a whole year. I'm thinking Snoop Dogg eats more chicken than anybody on the planet. <laughs> and then I was telling a friend about it. I was like, you know, Snoop Dogg asked for 150 pounds of chicken in the UK. And she was like, money or weight? Uh, that makes more sense. Yeah, apparently he doesn't eat a barrel of chicken before shows. <laughs> That's good to know. What is that? Where does he put it all? He's got yeah. good metabolism, it, man. It God. made the story a lot less interesting. <laughs> uh, I want to show a clip. Uh, if you guys need a laugh, you got to watch this. Here's uh, Michael Che in Shame the Devil on Netflix. Take a look. Black people love this country. We're just more specific about our love. You ask any here, you love America? You'd be like, I love Brooklyn. Atlanta's cool. I don't know about them Dakotas. If there was a black American flag, it'd be like 11 stars. For cities, it wouldn't even be the whole state. It'd be like, all right, Detroit, Oakland, D.C. Everything else would be a big-ass question mark. That's what I'm talking about. Michael Trey, everybody! His special, Shame the Devil, premieres on Netflix November 16th. Hey, hey.